With the release of Muppets Now on Disney+, Plus, it's became apparent to many viewers that the iconic voice of Kermit the Frog sounds off, as expressed here in the YouTube comments section. We're shooting something here to help spread the word about how the Muppets are creating an incredible new show for Disney+. Plus. The truth is, the longtime performer of Kermit was replaced almost four years ago, with the details of his firing being somewhat of an enigma. But this wouldn't be the first time that the famous amphibian has found himself recast. In 1955, a young man named Jim Henson wanted to prove that the concept of puppets being performed on a television screen could appeal to all ages. This led to the creation of Sam and Friends, a local television show in which Kermit the Frog made his debut. Sam and Friends! is brought to you by... Asco! Fabricated from only two tennis balls in his mother's green coat, what truly brought Henson's character to life for the audience was his performance behind the fabric, both physically and vocally. Well, we want these two guys just to relax and enjoy a couple moments of pleasant conversation. Here first we have... Chad Hutley, NBC News, New York. Even when muffled by 1950s audio equipment, the voice is undoubtedly recognisable to everyone watching here today. However, the voice did evolve slightly. As Kermit gained his iconic collar, his voice gained more of a personality. Well, 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 thank you, but no. You see, today I want to tell everybody about loud and quiet, and unfortunately, I don't need your help. With Henson gradually building upon and establishing the way Kermit should behave. From there, Kermit, along with the now-established Muppets branding, only continued to grow in terms of public recognition and popularity, notably making appearances in Sesame Street, before becoming the star of The Muppet Show, which ran for five seasons, and subsequently three feature films. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I've heard them calling my name. But nobody could have predicted what would happen next, on the 16th of May, 1990. He was only 53 years old, and his passing today came as a complete surprise. New York Hospital announced that puppeteer Jim Henson had been admitted early Tuesday with what is described as galloping pneumonia. His condition had been untreated for at least three days, and early this morning at 1.30 Eastern Time, he died. Steve Whitmire had been recruited by Henson to be part of his Muppet crew at the age of 18 years old. After Henson was thoroughly impressed with his puppeteering skills, they became good friends over years of working together, and upon Henson's passing, Whitmire was selected to take over the mantle of Kermit the Frog. This was revealed to the public in the 1990 TV special titled The Muppets Celebrate Jim Henson a segment from which depicts the Muppets celebrating the life of someone named Jim Henson. Though, they're not quite sure who he is. I forgot to tell you that the big production number is meant to be a tribute to Jim Henson. Oh, Jim Henson! Yeah. 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 Who's Jim Henson? Well, I don't know. For most of the segments, Kermit is completely absent, a clear parallel to the death of his creator slash performer which is admittedly deep for the Muppets. Then, all of a sudden, Kermit just strolls through the door. And it's here that we're introduced to the performance of Steve Whitmire. What a good song. I knew you guys could do the tribute for Jim. Whitmire went on to perform Kermit in eight movies and much more across 27 years, making his performance of Kermit the one that most audience members today are likely familiar with. The Muppets brand was also purchased by the Walt Disney Company during this period. Whitmire's voice is slightly higher in pitch than Henson's, although eventually it became harder to distinguish the two. Whitmire puts this level of authenticity down to the years he spent working alongside Henson, picking up not only his speech patterns, but also his mannerisms in an attempt to faithfully recreate Kermit's character. 
Now there are only pictures in my head. Some of the franchise's most popular movies, such as 1992's The Muppet Christmas Carol and 2011's The Muppets, starred Whitmire, further establishing his Kermit voice as the most recognisable version in the eyes of the general public. In between mixed reviews of 2014's Muppets Most Wanted and the 2016 sitcom series that only lasted one season, simply titled The Muppets, the franchise seemed to take a back seat for a while. Disney seemed occupied with other franchises it had acquired in recent years, such as Marvel and Star Wars, which are certainly making more at the box office than The Muppets. Before I go, I'd just like to say something. I think kids are, are smarter and better than all this junk, and if you- oh! All the Muppets had at this point were short YouTube videos titled Muppet Thought of the Week. These were generally under a minute in length. A point to note here is that Kermit is absent from all of these videos throughout 2017. The reason for this quickly became clear when the following news was revealed. The man who was given the voice to Kermit for decades has been fired by the Muppet studio, leaving the character's fate hanging in the balance this morning. According to the Muppet Studios, this was due to Whitmire being, quote, difficult to work with and performing Kermit as a bitter, angry, depressed victim. Not to take sides here, but I can't recall a single instance of Kermit acting in such a manner. And the one example that some tabloids used is this clip from The Ellen Show in 2011. You know, it, I mean, it's kind of nice because when I'm out on the street, I'm often confused for like a, a green fire hydrant. You know? uh, uh -huh. Oh, that, that's terrible. That would be horrible. It's tough. The way Kermit acts here just seems completely natural to me. And the audience are even laughing, which is kind of the goal, right? But as for Whitmire's response to these allegations, he appeared live on the Today Show, denying the supposed unacceptable conduct and adding that he was in complete shock upon being informed. Well, I was stunned. It seemed like there was about five minutes of silence. I'm sure it wasn't that long and I just immediately trying to get answers. He admitted offering notes as to how the characters should act. For example, in an episode of the Muppets sitcom series, Kermit conceals the fact that he and Miss Piggy have separated from his nephew, Robin. Whitmire argued that Kermit wouldn't lie in this situation and would instead explain that these things happen in a compassionate manner. Disney, who owns Muppet Studios, gave Whitmire no prior warning or opportunity for the actor to remedy the issues they had. They then attempted to cover up the firing of Whitmire, as revealed in this interview. They were also offering me things that I sort of caused, uh, called consolation prizes. Um, they were going to honor me, give me Disney Legends awards, things like that. But that required signing an NDA and what they really wanted was for me to frame this as I moved on and that I had retired and I, it was just disingenuous. I couldn't bring myself to do it. For me, the most notable part of the interview is this rather abrupt statement and how Whitmire responds. You are not Kermit. You right. are simply somebody who plays the role of Kermit. Yeah, it's really interesting about that because in my mind, uh, my mentoring with Jim tells me that the minute the Muppets are reduced to being roles that are auditioned for and cast, it takes all of the individuality out of them. Their longevity is completely based on their consistency. Otherwise, it's not Kermit or any of the Muppets at all, and that's what I've tried to push for and be outspoken about. Which brings us to the present, wherein fellow Muppet performer Matt Vogel, who had worked alongside Whitmire for years and performed various other Muppet characters, was chosen to be the new voice of Kermit. But this is Kermit the Frog we're talking about, one of the most recognisable voices in the media. My identity will be safest if you never see my face. Kermit the Frog? <gasps> Surely Disney would ensure this new voice would be as faithful to the character as possible, right? You're ready for it. Kermit the Frog. Yeah, Kermit the Frog, that's my name. You know, a, a funny story. And the prophecy of Steve Whitmire unfolds. 
This casting is down at the higher ups at Disney and is no fault of Matt Vogel. Let's be honest, who could turn down a role like Kermit the Frog? But all I can say here is the Kermit puppet moving its mouth and out comes the voice of some dude. The Kermit attributes that we all grew up watching, that nasally yet excitable tone just isn't there. And not only is the voice different, but the movements of the puppet seem lacking. The first performance of Vogel's Kermit was revealed to the public in one of the aforementioned Muppet Thought of the Week YouTube clips. But until the launch of the Disney Plus original series, Muppets Now, most of the public hadn't heard the new voice, which has in fact been around for over three years now, albeit only in these small and not very widespread YouTube videos. Prior to the launch of Muppets Now, Kermit appeared alongside Miss Piggy on The One Show to promote the new series, though the most notable outcome of this are the several news articles that spawned. Some examples being titled, Muppets fans baffled by Kermit the Frog's new voice, and viewers complain about Kermit the Frog's voice, which appear to have a recurring theme, with the new series once again receiving mixed reviews on top of the ever-growing backlash of Kermit's new voice, the future of the Muppets seems more uncertain than ever. But hey, Steve Whitmire has since continued the legacy of Jim Henson through creating puppets and productions of his own. Often attending Comic Cons and interacting with fans, he comes across as humble and very passionate about his work. And when one young fan asked, if you had the opportunity to go back and make more Muppet movies, would you? He responded, Yes, yes, I love working with the Muppets so much, oh yeah. It's highly unlikely at this point, but if Disney realises the impact that this whole situation is having on the Muppets franchise, the rehiring of Steve Whitmire is not completely impossible. That's why my green is feeling grey. Sometimes even frogs have rainy days. If you enjoyed this video, leave a suggestion Remember in the comments section the on what topic the channel could cover next. Any likes, and especially subscribers, are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.